If you've clicked on this video, you've probably got your eye on someone special and daydreamed about what it would be like to have your crush confess their feelings to you. Well, what if the confession never comes? But not because they don't have any feelings for you, but because of how much they like you. They're too shy or afraid to just come out and say it. Luckily for us, with psychology, understanding how other people really feel is now easier than we think. So with that said, here are six subtle signs your crush wants you to notice them. They're constantly close by. If you notice that your crush is always around you, frequenting your favorite hangout spots or attending all the same social events as you, it might be because they're romantically interested and in trying to get your attention. According to dating and communication coach, Sarah Kernoles, if someone is flirting with you, you'll notice they find a way to be in your eye line or closer to you in proximity, even if they don't always approach you. They get physical with you. Another subtle sign that your crush wants you to notice them is if they constantly look for excuses to touch you. Whether it's under the guise of a playful nudge or a friendly hug, a brush of your hands, or even just sitting really close to you all the time. The fact that they're comfortable enough to get touchy with you is a good sign that they want you to notice them. According to certified relationship coach, Dr. Susan Glickick, these are all signs that their body is giving you attention, even if their brain is having trouble engaging because of nerves. They listen. Think back to your last few conversations with your crush. Did you feel that they were attentively and actively listening to you? Nodding, maintaining eye contact, and asking follow-up questions. Did they verbally or non-verbally encourage you to tell them more? Aside from just being a good listener, one probable reason for this is that your crush may be subtly trying to flirt with you and signal their romantic interest in you. Listening is essential, says flirting coach and author of The Secret Rules of Flirting, Fran Green. Because if somebody is just doing all the talking, they're not flirting. They're just putting on a show. So pay attention to those who listen to you intently. They include you. Have you been introduced to their friends or invited to hang out with them a lot? While it's easy to write off as them just being friendly with you, it could also be a subtle sign that they want you to notice them, especially if your crush is more of the shy type. According to dating and relationship expert, Callisto Adams, they likely feel more comfortable having their friends around before making a move on you, or they might want you in their social circle to spend more time with you and get to know you better. They remember. Remembering little details is a sign of attentiveness. And when someone is attracted to you, they're more likely to listen to you intently and actually remember what you said. According to an article by The Power of Positivity, a psychology-based inspirational lifestyle and well-being blog, when someone is interested in you, they'll remember many things you say. Your interest will be vital to them, and they might even bring up comments you said a while before. So if your crush keeps referencing things you told them before or coming up with inside jokes just for the two of you, they're subtly trying to catch your attention. They bring up shared interests. When your crush wants to engage with you more, they'll probably try to play up your similarities and overlapping interests as much as possible. Flirting with your crush is like a good tennis match. There's a lot of back and forth, explains flirting coach Fran Green. So whether it's a shared experience, like growing up in the same city or a close mutual friend of yours, or a hobby you're both passionate about. Someone interested in you will use just about any opportunity they have to talk to you more and make a connection with you. So do you relate to any of the things we've mentioned here? Did this video help you catch all the subtle signs that your crush wants you to notice them? The trouble with flirting and pursuing someone is that because many people aren't comfortable with conveying their romantic interest directly, a lot of it can get lost in translation. But as long as you know how to read the signals and subtle hints they're giving you, then you can already get a better sense of their deeper feelings.